Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this um, rib type uh, granny square. I'm calling it my sundial granny square. Um, I'll show you, you know, I'll show you how to make the center ribbing. And if you want to use that, actually it works well for like, if you make it in cotton, for like face scrubs and stuff like that. But then I'll also show you how to make it, square it off to make this granny square, which you can use for anything that you like. Granny squares make excellent bags uh tops you know long jackets vests they're really good for lots of things blankets definitely so this granny square is about a nine inch granny and i think it looks really cool so we do the rib circle first and then we work our way out you can change colors as often as you'd like there's the back side all right i'll show you the yarn that i used um <clears throat> So I use Hershner's Cottage Cotton, which is an acrylic cotton blend. 60 cotton, 40 acrylic, medium weight number four. You do not have to use this yarn. Any four weight yarn will work. I did use four colors in um, that particular granny square. I used the color Blossom. And then I used the color Pale Oak. Stone Path and cherry glow of course you can use as many colors as you like or make it solid any four weight yarn that you'd like and you can make it bigger if you'd like just by adding more rows i will go over that later in at the end um and then we're going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook so let's go ahead and get started on this i'm actually going to start with the light color this time in the center and we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Now, if you want to use the magic circle here, that would be just fine too. I don't do the magic circle. So I'm going to start off with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Throw my tail over. I grab the main yarn and I put my middle finger in between the hook and the chain that I just made. Then I slip stitch and then that my middle finger is kind of holding that open so I can work in it. So I'm going to chain one which does not count as a stitch and I'm going to work 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the ring and then draw up a loop and then go ahead and do my double crochet like normal and we needed to do that 12 times through the ring so that was number one go ahead and work around there's two three four all right so i have my 12 double crochets here and don't worry if you have a little circle here we can close that up later if it bothers you if not you can just leave it the way it is um i'm gonna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into my first double crochet now we're going to start doing the ribbing that you see the rib circle all right so we're going to start off with a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Like that. And we're going to put one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, so we don't count this one, in the second stitch and single crochet. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the remaining five chains. So you should have a total of six single crochets along the chain. Now we're going to slip stitch back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Like 
like that. Same one. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn and we're going to work back up this chain. Single crocheting in the back loop only. So you can see that there's two loops to the stitch. The one closest to you is the front. The one furthest away is the back. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet in the back loop of the six stitches that are remaining on the chain. Back loop only. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to go back down the chain. Now we're always working in the back loops when we're working the center ring of our granny square. Back loops now from now on. Single crochet in the six stitches down, starting with this very first one in the back loop only. One, two, three, four. five, six, like that. And then we're going to jump to the next stitch. So we worked uh, twice into this stitch. Now we're gonna come to the next stitch and work twice in it. So we're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. Like that. Chain one, turn and go back up working in the back loop only of the six stitches, single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one and turn. Go back down, working in the back loop only, starting with this very first one. Single crochet in the six stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. You might see this little stitch here. That is actually chain one and we don't go into it. So we did the six stitches. Now we need to go into that same stitch again because we got to go into each stitch twice. So we slip stitched in at once, did our chain and went back down. Now we're going to do it again. Slip stitch into the same stitch. Chain one, turn all work. And single crochet back loop only all the way up our chain for six stitches then we chain one and turn go back down one single crochet in every stitch starting with this very first one back loop only if I can get that back loop there it is So we went through that stitch twice. You can see it right here. Once there and once there. Now we'll start on our next stitch and do it twice into that stitch. So we're doing this same thing we're doing twice in each, in each stitch. We're just kind of doing the slip stitch, go up and down, and then slip stitch in the same stitch, go up and down, and then go over to the next stitch and a slip stitch. And we're gonna do this until we make it all the way around. You're always working in the back loop, remember, and you'll always have six stitches. Two, 
chain one and turn back down again back loop only Okay, we slip stitch into this one once. Sometimes you have to slide it over and you want to do it one more time. Slip stitch in the same one twice, remember. Chain one and then we'll go back up and then down again. One, two, three, four, five six chain one and turn back down back loop only single crochet one two three four five and six and if you look we've just worked that one twice you can see this stitch here and then this one here so we're going to go to the next and do the same thing so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i make it back here to my starting point and that's where i'll meet back up with you at all right so i've made it all the way around doing two up and downs in every stitch um, and I've made it all the way down. So what you want to do at that last stitch here, um, go ahead and slip stitch into your first stitch. And then we're going to clip off the yarn, but leave a little tail here, or a little bit of a longer tail. So we can sew, we got to sew this up with a yarn needle. So clip that off. Make sure you got sufficient enough amount of yarn there to sew. And then use your yarn needle. And we're just going to neatly sew it up there if I can get my yarn needle to work out so just take it and just you got your pieces here just neatly sew it together the best you can that's what I do that's all we can do um, but I'm going through the back loop of this piece here to try to keep with the rib effect I don't know if it's gonna work but <laughs> I'll try and I'm going back and forth not over 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 back and forth will hide the stitches a little bit better just kind of keep them lined up if you can You can go back down again if you want to make sure it's tight, but then you want to, once you, I'm not going to, but once you make it all the way down, I guess I'll go back down again neatly and I'll be hiding my tail at the same time. Actually, I'm going to poke it to the behind now. And now I'm going to hide my tail on the opposite side here. Just hide it so it's not going to come undone. And while you're at it, you can hide the center. So you can close up the center circle if you want. I'll go ahead and do that real quick with your yarn needle. These little circles are cute. If you make them with like 100% cotton, they work well for like uh, face scrubbies. It kind of look like a flower, so flower applique or something. You know, whatever you want. I just go around it like this. Oops, pull tight. And eventually it closes up that circle. I'm a little fumbly today.
I'll keep going around until my circle is completely closed. Here we go. And then I'm going to go back in the opposite direction, kind of to lock that in place. There we go. Okay, I'm going to clip that off. Now, that is it for the circle. If you like, like it, like I said, I think it works good. First face scrub is, and you know, you can always chain more or less if you want. I think it's really cute. You know, you could put a couple of these to make this one small, this one like this size, and you can make another one with the chains like, say, like 10 or 12, and then sew them together. That'd be a cute little flower, you know, more shrag or scrubby, whatever you want to make with, use it for. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to square it off in case you don't want to use it as a circle. So I'm going to use the same color yarn that I was just using, and I'm going to go around the circle with single crochet. Now we need to have 48 single crochets all the way around, okay? So you can start wherever you want. Um, I'm going to start, see these where the ridges stick out? I'm going to start right there at the end of one of those spots. Pull my yarn through, chain one and I'm going to go back through that spot and single crochet. Now I'm going to go to the spot in between these, so right here, kind of right here on the end, and single crochet. And then the spot at the end of this ridge row and single crochet. And then the spot in between the ridge rows, single crochet. And then the spot at the top of the ridge row, single crochet. And then in between the ridge rows, single crochet. And I'm going to do this all the way around. Now, if you kind of, if you kind of follow that pattern of doing one at the ridge row and then one in between the ridge row and then one at the ridge row and one at the in between you should have close to 48 when you make it back around to your starting point so go ahead and do those single crochets all the way around all right so i've made it all around all the way around and i have 48 stitches it's very important that you do have 48 so if you don't quite come up with 48 if you need to add or take one away here at the end that's okay but make sure you have 48 and then you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet not the chain one but the first single crochet and then I'm going to change colors so I'm going to clip this yarn off and I'm going to start a new color it's okay if it flips up like that that's not a big deal we'll take care of that in a little bit all right so now I'm going to switch colors I guess I will go to um I don't know. I'll go to the pink. Doesn't really matter, I guess. All right. Now we're going to square it off. So you can start anywhere you want in one of these single crochets and we're going to start off by making one of the four corners of the square. So go ahead and start yarn in any stitch of the any one of the single crochets and we're going to chain one and we're going to make the corner here. So we're going to put three double crochets into this stitch. So there's one, two, and there is three. Then we're going to chain two and we're going to go back into the same stitch again and work three more double crochets. One, two, and there is three. So that is the first corner of our square. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we're gonna go into the next stitch and double crochet. And then the next one and double crochet so that was two double crochets now the next one is going to get half double crochet now we're going to put one single crochet into the next five there's one two 
three, four, five. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into each of the next two. There's one there. And one in the next. And now we're going to put a corner into the next stitch. So the next stitch we will put three double crochets into it. There's one, two, three, chain of two, and then three more double crochets into the same stitch. So it's one, two, and that's three. So you can see we have two of the four corners already made. So now we're gonna do what we just put in between these two corners again. So we're gonna put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one there, and the next one here is where I tied them together. It's always a hard one to get. And nope. One there, so that's two. And then a half double into the next. So it was after the corner, it was double, double, half double. And now we're going to do five single crochets again in a row. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to put a half double crochet into the next one double into the next two there's one there one there and the next one we will put our corner so we're going to put three double crochets there's one two three chain two and three double crochets back in the same stitch for that corner there's one two and three if you lay it out now we have three of our four corners made so we need to do what we did in between the corners again oops so again one double crochet into the next two stitches so there's one and there's two half double into the next and then we do one single crochet into the next five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Half double into the next. One double into the next two. One, two. And then we're going to go ahead and put our corner into the next stitch, which is three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Like that. So we got all our four corners made. Now we just need to finish this out by doing the same thing that we did. In between all the corners so one double crochet into the next two so there's one two half double into the next single into the next five there's one two three four five half double into the next got two left I got two left one double into the remaining two 
and then we're going to end this round by slip stitching into the first double crochet of our first corner i'm going to switch colors again you don't have to you can switch colors however you whenever however often you like so i'm going to tie that off and i'm going to switch to a different color but so we got it partially squared off it's okay if it's looking a little wonky we'll fix it don't worry about it but it does look kind of square now better <laughs> better than it did before all right you should have a total of 17 stitches in between each of the chain two spaces so we do not count the chain two spaces as stitches so all the way around you should have a total of 68 stitches remember don't count these chain two spaces and let's see i'm going to bring in another color let's go with this brown color here now you can start in any of the chain two spaces that you'd like so i'm going to go ahead and start in this one right here i'm going to go around again chain one now we're going to start off and we're going to put a corner here so it's gonna be three doubles chain two three doubles into this chain two space so go right into the chain two space and we work our corner which is three doubles there's three slide them over a bit chain two and then three doubles one two three like that all right now i'm going to put one double crochet into the next six stitches and it's very important right here at the corners to pull this back so you don't miss this very first stitch here it likes to hide but if you miss it your count will be off and your square it just won't be square so we're going to do six in a row there's one two three four five And there's six now we're going to put a half double crochet into the next five half double there's one two three four five one double crochet into the next six one two three four five and there's six now we're at a chain two space so our corner we're going to go into it we're going to work our three double crochets chain two and three doubles into that chain two space now we're going to repeat again what we just did here on this side so we're going to put a half or a double crochet into the next six stitches remember to get this very first one here one two three four five six half double into the next five there's one two three four five double into the next six one two
three. It's always hard to get this slip stitch one. Four. Five. And here is six. Now we're going to go back into this corner here and we're going to do what we always do three doubles chain two and three doubles so we're going to repeat this pattern that we've been doing all the way around until we make it back to our starting point all right so i've made it back around to my starting point and i'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet here and that will end that round Find my first double yeah and you should have a total of I'm gonna switch colors again you don't have to if you don't want to so I'm gonna tie it off you should have a total of 23 stitches now in between each of the chain two spaces for a total of 92 stitches all the way around, not counting those chain two spaces. So I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna bring in a, a light pink now, and I'm gonna go around again. Um, you can start in any one of these chain two spaces. And this time I'm gonna be working double crochet all the way around. So I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to work my corner inside this chain two space the same way that we've always been working it. So I'm gonna work my three doubles, one, two, and then three, slide them over, chain two, and three more doubles into that chain two space. Now, this time, I'm just going to work one double crochet in every stitch across until I make it to my next corner. So, remember not to forget this guy. Sometimes he hides, sometimes he doesn't. And just work one double crochet into every stitch until you make it to your next chain two space. like this and when you make it to your next corner we're just going to do the same three doubles chain two three doubles and this is what we're going to repeat all the way around it's going to be one double crochet in every stitch and when you get to your corner it's three doubles chain two and three doubles and I'll meet back up with you when we get back to our starting point. All right, I've made it all the way around. You should have a total of 116 stitches, not counting your chain two spaces. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Now, if you want to make it bigger, you can just keep going around with the double crochet rows, of course. I'm going to switch colors one more time and do one finishing row here of single crochet. This is optional. You don't have to have to do that. Uh, what color am I going to use? I think I was to go back to my light color. Since that's what I started with, that's what I'll finish with. Now, you can start in any chain two space that you'd like. And we're just going to be working single crochets now for this final row. So we're going to go into the chain two space with a chain one, and I'm going to work four single crochets into this chain two space. So there's one, two, three, and four. So every corner will just get four single crochets. Let me do that last one. So there's four single crochets there. Now I'm gonna work across and I'm gonna put one single crochet. This is just kind of a finish, finishing row in every stitch till I make it to my next 
chain two space on my next corner. And when I make it to there, I will put four single crochets into that corner. And then I'll continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch until I reach my next chain two space. I'll put four single crochets into that corner. Then I'll continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch. And I'll continue that pattern of one single crochet in every stitch and four single crochets in each of the chain two space corners until I make it back around to my starting point. Remember, this is just kind of a finishing row. I felt whenever I make it greeny squares, I always like to do a finishing row. It makes it easier to sew them together, I think. Well, I think so, but. Just like that. So I'm gonna meet back up with you at the beginning. All right, when you make it all the way around, you just wanna slip stitch into your first single crochet, tie off. You should have 132 stitches, I believe, at the end of that last round. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I think it's really cool looking, actually, myself. Uh, yeah, I can see this in lots of different projects. But anyways, if you make this or anything out of it, you I would love to see a picture of it. You can show me on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. There's a link to that below in the description box. And there's also a link you'll find uh, a playlist that has over a thousand free crochet tutorials of mine. All there for you to enjoy. So have a look if you get time. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Bye guys!